What's going on, guys? Uh, Jay, uh, I'm just going to talk a minute about Morse Runner, the new release that was released about uh, a week ago. Uh, a friend of mine, Scott, <clears throat> has been keeping me updated on uh, on the progress they're making um, on GitHub with Morse Runner as it continues to uh, get better and better. So in this version, uh, here they uh, added cut numbers, which is really good. And they also added the uh, AWRL DX contest, which is coming up, I think, in February, um, toward the end of February. One of the biggest contests of the year. <laughs> um, you can find this at uh, HTTPS um, colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash W7SST forward slash Morse Runner and then forward slash releases. Uh, make sure the M and Morse and the uh, R and Runner is capitalized. Everything else seems to be uh, in lower case. If I can remember, I'll post it down in the in the comments or the uh, in the description where you guys can go directly and, and download this this new version. But uh, they've done pretty good on it, honestly. Uh, this one runs fine on my uh, my particular sound card. One point eight one sounded a little a little different to me on on. Uh, this uh, particular computer and on my laptop, it sounded fine. So it tells me it's probably something to do with my sound card. So, uh, let's see here. They renamed the uh, F2 button to exchange added cut numbers like five in, in, uh, you guys know, a is one T is zero and N is, is nine, which is the top three cut numbers that you use in a contest situation, or some people use them all the time, but you'll hear them quite a bit um, in contests. So just do a short run here of the AWRDX where the exchanges, like if you're in the States, it'll be 599 Kentucky. Uh, if you're any kind of DX, it'll be 599 and your power. So like KW is, is KW. Um, 500 is like 5TT. 100 is 1TT. Some people run like 5 watts. <laughs> so uh, let's jump into it. I hope you guys can hear this. My speakers are on the back side. But I've got the pitch turned up. Notice it shows you here too. Thank you. 750.
after 10 minutes. Anyway, you can, uh, like I said before, I usually run at whatever speed you're comfortable with, so you can uh, hit the page up and down buttons to change the speed, kind of like on N1MM. However, <laughs> I wish they would implement, instead of going up five words per minute in speed, maybe do two. So like if I'm running 35, I wanna go up or down to 33, I can just hit down um, using the page up or down key like N1MM. Um, uh, the monitor level, I pull that down to uh, negative 33 dB. Activity right here is, I would do a minimal of three. If you do one in a pile up, you're only probably gonna get one or two people. So if you're new practicing, maybe you wanna do like one or two, but if you're practicing for a real contest, you might wanna bump this up to three to six, uh, something like that. And you can, um, you know, I mean, you can do this for for as many minutes or hours as you'd like. I like to do it about 20 to 30 minutes sometimes. But, uh, again, it's got, uh, make sure you add your call sign here. I use QSK. Um, you still got AWR field day. Uh, I mean, ARL field day, uh, the WPX, CQ Worldwide, CW Ops, CWTs, um, HST, I like that a lot, um, and NAQP. So I'm glad they added the uh, AWR DX contest. Uh, I run my CW pitch normally around 600 to 650. But I haven't got my speakers moved over here, so I, had to, I know my phone wouldn't have picked it up. Bandwidth, I run at about 350 to 400. Uh, always run QSB. It's probably good to run uh, Flutter and QRM and QRN. Also, lids, you know, in a contest, you don't... <laughs> You don't get a lot of five five nines. You know what I mean? It's, it's even the lids are sending people on straight keys and stuff like that. They're sending five nine nine. So I don't really run that just for that purpose. They, even if they give me a five six nine, I'm still gonna log them as a five nine. <laughs> um, some other things that can be improved on this. This window here could be bigger. Again, could be a little taller. Um, these, all three of these windows here could be taller. Um, say for instance, somebody calls me and I hit thank you or I hit enter while he's sending again because sometimes they'll come back again really fast. Um, in N1MM, you can hit F5 and it will repeat his call sign even though he's already in the log. And uh, on this one, you can't do that for some reason. I'm not really sure why, but uh, I'm thinking maybe you could in previous versions of this, but man, these guys do a fantastic job on uh, keeping the software development going on this uh, program. AWRLDX, uh, you notice it doesn't really tell you how many cues you got. So, <laughs> so it's kind of a good thing. I don't want to keep Count on my QSO count, but it gives you a score um, at points and then, you know, your multipliers. And it's got like raw and verified, but anyway, yeah, that's a look at uh, Morse Runner 1.82 uh, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash github.com forward slash W7SST forward slash capital M. O-R-S-E, capital R-U-N-N-E-R. -N -N -E and it should take you to uh, 1.82, the community release of it. But uh, yeah, thanks. Thanks to these guys. Uh, coded W7SST, I guess he's the one, uh, or one of the, one of the few that's doing uh, development for this software, and I appreciate that, so. You guys have a, a good evening, and I got to practice because I'm not doing very well. <laughs> See you guys later.